once you open Google document, all you need to do is go to tools and then scroll down to voice typing. And if you want to type in English, all you have to do is press this button here. Um, once you press the first time, it, it, a little pop up will come up here to say that you want to allow your microphone to be used, which we have to allow, obviously. Um, so once you click there, now I can speak and the computer is going to write for me in English. I can just simply speak and it's going to type for me. I'm pretty sure that you get the idea how this works now. Now, when I click on the microphone, I'd stop the microphone from recording, but it also allows me to type in another language. Um, if I want to scroll down to Arabic, for example, uh, I could pick any of the Arabic um, options here. Um, what I would recommend is when you want to write in Arabic, is that you change the direction of letters to move them to the other side because Arabic is written from right to left. So now I can begin speaking. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kayfa haluk? Kayfa al akhbar? Nismuk. Min aina ant? Ana min. Ana min al Boston ti wal harsak. So as you can see, the letters are quite small. So what you can do is uh, increase the size of the letters. And when you do so, um, while, you're, while you're using the option of voice typing, uh, you'll be able to see better what is being typed. Um, here's another feature that one of the students or children in my class today showed me. Um, you go to tools and then you have the translate document. Once you click on that, choose a language. You can say, translate to English. Translate, new window opens up, and whatever I've said in Arabic, it translated it to English. And you can use that option to translate to any of the languages available.